It is going to be an intense season. Now let's meet our next chef. She is from Mount Uniac, Nova Scotia. She's cooked in Belize, she's cooked in Australia, and now Lauren Marshall is back teaching and cooking at On V in Halifax. There was nothing else I ever imagined that I wanted to be. I, you know, I wasn't inspired necessarily by my parents, but uh, my grandfather was a chef. Um, so, you know, going to my grandparents' house on the weekends and, and Christmas dinners were always uh, quite elaborate. And um, I guess just seeing the food and tasting the food that my grandfather made kind of inspired my love for cooking and food. Straight out of high school, I applied to go to the Culinary Institute of Canada. I got accepted. The school had a, has a great reputation. It was the only school I really wanted to go to. So I headed off to PEI to, in, um, to become a part of the, the Culinary Institute there. I wanted to travel. So besides my love for cooking, I knew that if I became a chef, um, I could use my skills anywhere in the world and be able to travel and, and see places but also to work and be able to pay for, pay for my travels. When I finished cooking school, I applied for a job in Nantucket and I spent uh, four years on Nantucket Island. Um, I worked at a French restaurant and I also worked at a pretty neat uh, upscale diner uh, for, the, for the same chef. I spent my winters away from Nantucket because it was seasonal and I got to travel through the winter. Spent some time in Montreal at a brasserie and I got to go to Belize and, and be a sous chef for um, Marcus Perigo. I got a visa to go to Australia, and I, I, did, uh, I worked nine months at a, um, a southern Italian restaurant in downtown Melbourne. I actually signed up to be a part of the woofing program, so the willing workers on organic farms. And so when I finished working for, for this Italian chef, um, in Melbourne, I actually went to Tasmania for a few weeks and volunteered on an organic farm and took care of um, herding sheep and planting gardens and that sort of thing. There, it, there was like a yoga studio and I was learning how to do yoga and kind of live more of a, a natural lifestyle. And that's kind of what inspired me to get into um, more organic and whole foods cooking. And that's, that's when I decided to come back home, back to Halifax. Then I enrolled into the Canadian School of Natural Nutrition. Anvi is a, a, an amazing restaurant. We uh, specialize, obviously, in only vegan foods, so we don't, uh, we don't cook with anything that has uh, any sort of animal products. Uh, very, very passionate about vegan, vegan cooking. Um, just because I, I really like the, the natural aspect of the cooking and uh, you know, no processed foods, everything from scratch. And because we're using all these beautiful whole foods, they're very, very nutritious. I, I love being an advocate for you know, healthy lifestyle and healthy, healthy eating. I applied to be on Top Chef Canada, I guess, for one, um, I was a big fan of Top Chef and the Top Chef um, kind of series. And I noticed there wasn't a lot of representation in, uh, on the East Coast. We've, we've had a few East Coast chefs in the past, but there actually had never been a Nova Scotian chef. So I thought, for one, I'm, I'm from Nova Scotia. I, you know, who, who else could represent a, a province you know, that they're from you know, better than me, you know, like anything else? So I thought, well, maybe, maybe if I applied, maybe I, maybe I had it to had enough to, to actually get on. But um, the other reason was I'm not a very competitive person. So, you know, I, my kind of style is, is, is very humble and, and I love cooking. I love sharing uh, my knowledge with other people, but I'm, I'm not necessarily a competitive person. So I always like to push myself and I really want it to um, kind of push myself to, the, to, to my own limits. For me, uh, the hardest thing was the feeling in my stomach before we were going into competition. Um, you know, little sleep, you know, going and, and, and not being able to sleep at night because you're so nervous uh, for, the, for what's coming next. Uh, 
I don't like to cook under pressure. I don't like to cook uh, being uh, forced to do something in a short amount of time. So that was definitely the hardest part. I wanted to represent myself, uh, but I, you know, my, my thoughts and my way of going into this competition was that I'll cook anything and, and try to showcase everything I've learned in my career. So I wanted to showcase what I do now and what I'm very passionate about, but also showcase what, what I know how to cook and, and, and the things I've learned along the way within my career. So, you know, I've done a lot of different, a, a lot of different things in my career. I've, I've done French cooking and um, French cuisine and Italian cuisine. Um, you know, I've cooked meats. I've done tons of fish. I worked on, you know, an island where, where all we did was fish. So I, I didn't feel like I was lacking in, in this certain area. But um, as one of the youngest competitors on the season, um, you know, my disadvantage I felt was that maybe the other chefs, you know, or it's an advantage where the other chefs see somebody very young and go, well, you know, who is that person they don't, you know, may not know very much. Um, also, you know, people think I'm a lot younger than I am. You know, I, I was in cooking school when I was 18 and graduated when I was 19, so I've been cooking for nine years. Uh, but I look like somebody who's probably still in culinary school, or, you know, the guesses were that I was probably still under the age of 20. But, um, you know, I, even though I was one of the youngest competitors, I still have a few years experience behind me. This experience, the, the competition has, has given me more confidence as a chef. Um, and I'm not saying that I am not a confident chef, but being able to go up against 13 of some of the best chefs in Canada um, gives me the confidence that, that I needed to kind of excel in my career. Uh, and, and it's probably a confidence that I need it because, because I went out there and I did something that, you know, that intimidated me. It gave me, it gave me a lot of um, kind of drive to keep doing what I'm doing. I am the chef de cuisine at, at On V, a vegan kitchen, and people can come uh, check out our food uh, from Tuesday to Saturday, 11 to 9. Uh, we're located on Agricola and Charles Street in Halifax. The website is onvhalifax.com. If somebody comes to the restaurant for the first time, I, I highly recommend the, uh, the Reuben sandwich, uh, house-made seitan, house-made sauerkraut, our own nut gruyere cheese, and I, I love the, uh, to get the kale Caesar salad on the side. Lauren has a great approach to food and cooking, like that cheesecake that was made not with cream cheese, but with cashews. I cannot wait to see what she brings to the show.